Amen. God, the Lord bless you. Bless the Lord. The Lord bless you with great utterance today. Bless the Lord. And with passion in the name of Jesus Christ. Passion. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ. Bless the Lord. Lord. Amen. Yes, and uh, fill up your mouth again in the name of Jesus Christ. And, yes, Lord, in the name uh, of Lord, Jesus. Song for you as you step up in Jesus' name. Yes, and Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Messiah. Amen. Amen. Let the anointing flow. Thank you, Lord. Let the anointing flow. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let the anointing flow. Thank you, thank you. The shepherd pours out the oil you, upon our heads. You, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Minister Patrice, just while I was sitting here, then all of a sudden I remember. So that's, I turned to my computer and was doing that. Let me let you know that the word that is coming to you, Minister, um, the apostle rightfully said she called me and I saw the message. And I do not know if you've ever seen a message and turn your head and see something requesting. I, as a matter of fact, I think she sent it one late evening. Mm -hmm. And I turned and I looked at it and I was probably just wanted to get at least 10 minutes sleep. <laughs> I wanted to get 10 minutes sleep and I some reason i picked it up and i looked at it and i saw that apostle is saying i know you're out there somewhere you're gonna be preaching preaching the word and mind you i just came back and i just wanted just a little bit of sleep and i looked at it and it was just a writing because i just needed some sleep the next day i got up and i looked at it again and i still mind my own business you see sometimes you can't mind other people's business too fast until you get your business together and i looked at it and then i still say nothing because why i say nothing because i didn't know if there is a word is anybody hearing me yes i didn't jump to say yes and i didn't jump to say no because she convicted me by saying i know you're preaching somewhere on the street so if you're preaching on the street you can bring that word to bethany she said it as like that in those not maybe but pretty close to that and and literally i still did not say anything sometimes we say things too fast without direction is anybody hearing me and later on then after that i got the word I, I, a portion of it came to me and i went back and i say apostle i think the ship will sail That's i what got you said. i got the word i don't i say to her i don't got all of it but i believe the ship will sail but i don't got all of it i'm waiting for the rest is anybody hearing me i said i don't got it all but I believe the ship will sail. I don't got it all. I'm waiting for the rest. So this rest. That's why I want the slide to show. This rest. This message was written. And put together. At Young Dundas Square in Toronto. Yeah we praise the Lord. Praise Young done the square in toronto now remember what the apostle just said a while ago she said about the minister's manual because when you're on the street she have no idea that this message was put together for her people and the world on the street hey moses <laughs> i don't think anybody hear what i just said this message that you're about to hear was put together on the street at Young and Dundas Square. If anybody know where Young and Dundas Square, for those who are at abroad and do not know it, Young and Dundas Square is like is like Times Square in New York. That's it. That's it. So just in case you have not 
you do not know nothing about Young and Dundas Square, wherever you are, Young Dundas Square was put together. It is is like is like in 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 Times Square. Now, when I finish putting this word together, the, the Holy Spirit came down on me. Run through those slides, please. And I was be up and down up in Young Dundas Square, and I need the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Yeah, shut up more. This is not a joke. This is not a joke. This is not a joke. Let those slides run for a little because I want to do the introduction. I didn't even remember that I had those slides because when I finished write this, the Holy Spirit came down on me. Please take the camera off me a bit and just let get let get those slides to give a lighten up the thing because I think we're gonna go somewhere. We're gonna go somewhere. This was after when I finished writing the, the message, the Holy Spirit come down on me and I was all over the Young and Dunder Square. Let the slide roll, please. That's what I want. I know, I'm sorry. I know you're just taking them down. I know you're just taking them down. Hallelujah. So what I found interesting is that when I when the Holy Spirit came down and I as I finished the last word, the Holy Spirit grabbed me and I was all up and down the young Dunder Square praying underneath the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Now remember, Apostle wasn't there. But she said to me about the street. There was no connection. I do not know how it connected. And a while ago, I, I said, Minister Patrice, my ministry stuff, and I completely forgot. That when all of a sudden it grabbed me and I was there and I ran out with my and I was praying underneath the Holy Spirit. When you see those pictures, they're not they are not just standing. I was praying underneath the Holy Spirit at Young and Dunder Square. Baban do Hoshime. Praise be to God. What is the merit of my message? Yes, Lord. Simple enough. War. Ministry is war. My, the topic and the title of my message, ladies and gentlemen, ministry is war. Say it with me, somebody. Yes, it is. Ministry, ministry is, is war. war. I want you to say it again wherever you are. Ministry, ministry is, war. is war. It's war. Ministry yes, it is. So I wrote here, I'm going to walk you through it, and I, I did plan to ask the minister's permission. If I could, that mean all the ministers here, I want to ask them permission if I could just bring some, some teaching stuff that the Lord showed me to explain about ministry and war. Ministers, do I have, and apostles, do I have your permission? Praise you be do. to God. You're in my lane. Kaba. So go ahead. Kaba. Praise the Lord. Praise be to God. Please remember, don't shift away from this. Remember the whole merit of this ministry is war. 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 W-A-R. Ministry is war. Somebody said it with me again one more time. Ministry, ministry, ministry is, war. is war. So I have it here in writing. I myself, Errol would love to be a doctor. The problem with me loving to be a doctor, I hate needles <laughs> and I hate blood. Is anybody hear what I just said? Yeah. I would love to be a doctor, but my problem is I hate minute, I hate um, needles and I hate blood. So you may say, what does that have to do with what you just told us? Here is the answer. You can't be, you can't want to be in ministry and do not expect war. That's right. Mm -hmm. You cannot, ladies and gentlemen, want to be in ministry and do not want war. I didn't say you want to call war, but you cannot be in ministry and want to have no war. You can avoid it. I want somebody to stay with me because this is a very tight message. You can't be in ministry and do not want to get any attack. I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking. So remember, this thing is about war. It is about war. And what I say to you, ministry is what? War. Ministry is war. If you don't believe it, there's a few ministers around you. Ask them. Oh, don't go 
If you don't believe me, there's a few ministers around you. Ask them. Ministry is war. Yes, it is. You can't, you can't want to be in ministry and have no war. I can't be in medical, listen to me as a doctor and don't see needles. Yeah. I can't be a doctor and don't see, get used to see the sight of blood. Is anybody hearing me? Right. So I love being a medical doctor, but I hate the sight of blood and I hate needles. So what does that have to do with this? You cannot be in ministry and do not expect war. You don't need to find war when you're in ministry. War will find you. You do not need to go look for war when you're in ministry. War will come to find you. When you are in war, when you are in war, you cannot operate as if you are on reserve. Hello? I, I know I, I listen listen what's gonna happen here today I can tell you what's gonna happen here today many of you gonna pull up your socks and say apostle I feel sorry for you Oppo oppose, op 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 minister Ovid I feel sorry for you minister Patrice I feel sorry for you what I'm saying to you listen 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 when you are in war ladies and gentlemen we're talking about the outside war in military. When you're on the outside war, you can be in the reserve waiting to be pulled in on the battlefield. But if you are in the war, you cannot operate as if you're on reserve. I'm bringing some key factors. If somebody can hear me, I think you will do well. Amen. I'm bringing some key factors. If, if anybody hear me today, you will do well. Amen. Remember, I had the permission of the ministers to bring this to you. When you, when you are in war, attacks does not come as a surprise. That's right. That's not when you are in war, now we're talking, we, listen to me. I'm trying to let you do some combination here. I'm trying to let you do some connection here. If you don't believe it, the apostle can't report her war every day. Because if she report every war every day, she have no time to fight. Is anybody hearing me? When you are in war, attack does not come as a surprise. But listen to this. When you are in war, lack of attacks is a, it could, is a surprise. Mm, this thing is too tight. This thing is too tight. This thing is too tight. Ministers, I want to need your hand because, you know, this may be way out of, out of zone. When you are in war, attacks should not be a surprise. Your surprise should be when there is lack of attacks. That's right. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yes. Amen. Amen. That's right. Yeah. Amen. Yes. Amen. Let us also keep in mind where you're operating from. Glory to God. Determine the level of attacks that you will get. Yeah. Yes. Oh, amen. Amen. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Amen. Where are you operating from determine the level of attacks that you will get. That's right. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's right. I want to let somebody know that i.e. the battlefield you should expect bombing. Out in the battlefield, ladies and gentlemen, in real war, bombing does not come as a surprise. Hello? No. That's right. No, bombing is not comes as a surprise. However, I'm not sure if it's done pur purposely 
or there's a little Jewish diction, Jewish, Jewish diction involved in war. I'm talking about the external now. But the Jewish diction could be hospitals are safe zone. Hello? No. No, so the point what I'm trying to say to you, if you out in the battlefield, ladies and gent gentlemen, expect bombs. That's right. Now that does meant that your hard heart is a, is important. Is anybody hearing me? Mm -hmm. yes. Your hard hat is important if you are mm -hmm. out in the battlefield. That's right. Yes. Your, your boot of steel toe is important. That's right. Can't yes. wear sandals to battlefield. That's right. Is anybody hearing me? Amen. You may even have to have something that you to put on because of when they drop, Yes, you have to use something to cover your face because you're in yes. the battlefield. Yes. Let us also keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, wherever you are operating from, no, you can actually say, Apostle, I think I'm getting Minister Trench is telling me about your problem. Minister Ovid, I think Minister Trench is telling me about your problem. <laughs> Minister Patrice, I think Minister Trench is telling me about your problem. Remember what I say to you? From wherever you operate from, determining the level of attacks. That's right. Yes. Yes. Is anybody hearing me? Yes. Amen. Amen. If you are a truck in the external military, external mean the outside, not the Christian. If you are a medic, if you are in the military and you're bringing ammunition and equipment, expect attacks. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's right. Is anybody hearing me, man? Expect attack because you're bringing things to strengthen them. Yes. If you're bringing food, expect attack. Because you're going to be giving them strength. We want to weaken them, not strengthen them. Right. Amen. Amen. Help oh, the Lord. Help oh, the Lord. Amen. 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 Help oh, the Lord. Amen. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You cannot be in war. And are not being trained on how to use weapons. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 Hey, hey. Uh, you cannot be in war and do not expect how to use weapons. Yeah. So I believe Tuesday nights uh, is weapon training. Yes, 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 yes. Is anybody with me? Yes, yes. Choose the nights and those are the nights. You see, yes. when we come here now, we're, we're, we're doing a lot of things. But you see, these choose the nights are these other nights. These are weapon training night, man. Yes. Amen. Yes. Thanks be Amen. to God. Amen. You got to hear me now. Thanks be to God. Yes. Let me tell you something. So the enemy will not necessarily lick you down coming here today. But the enemy will lick you down going on Tuesday night. Yeah, amen. Because you're going to learn how to use weapons. Amen. amen. I want to get the people with me here because this is real. My Lord. This is real. You're going to learn how to use weapon on Tuesday night. We got to cause a, cause a problem, man. We got to cause a problem. Is anybody hearing me? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see, you're not in the field to train. You're in the field to do combat. Oh, glory to God. But wherever your training center is, our military base, how many times you heard, ladies and gentlemen, that there was what you call a, a, a drill and there was a casualty at drill because drill is also dangerous. Yes, Lord. Do you understand me? 
Drill is not just to drill. You're doing maneuvers. You're doing things that meant you're doing the drills that gonna, you will exercise in the field. I believe if you don't show up for drill, your commanding officer is going to have a conversation with you. Help us, Lord. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Yes. Well, you, you, you don't hear me. Amen. If you don't show up for drill, you're going to cause Amen. all the men and your, your, your platoon to get killed. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Because we're going to assign you to a post that you have no experience on how to deal with that post. Oh, Lord, help us. In other words, you cannot be in war and do not train how to use weapons. War, yeah. Now, in our case, you cannot be in war and do not train how to deal with the enemy. Yes, Lord, help us. Hmm. You cannot be in war, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, 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 hello. Amen. Let me tell you what sometimes the other side does, military speaking. They will capture somebody that is very important to you. Do you understand where I'm coming from? Yeah. How many times have you heard about prisoner at war? Yeah. Because they capture them. Yeah. Now when they capture them, a new war start because you want your body back. You want your man back. You want your this back. Every world, every president, every leaders are always sometimes they're trading to exchange of prisoners. Right. That meant he's right. been captured. Yes. So ladies and gentlemen, the devil, hello, 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 hello. Hmm. However, listen to this. I mean, I don't want to give you just the world views and not give you the Christian views. However, the Bible said our weapons are not carnal. Amen. Second Corinthians 10, throw them up there for me, my good friend. Second Corinthians 10. Find him there and throw him up. It said, the weapon of our warfares are not carnal, but mighty through Christ, mighty through God, to pull down strongholds. For the weapon of our warfare are not flesh, but having, but not, not, not of the flesh, but having the divine power. Divine power. Divine power to destroy strongholds. Yes, Do we understand now when we're talking about you must be trained? Power to pull down. Amen. You must be trained, ladies and gentlemen. A pastor didn't call me and tell me to come and tell me people some they need to train. But you're hearing it from Minister Errol today. You need to be trained. Amen. Amen. Divine power. In other words, what I'm trying to say to you, Jesus Christ, it's been said in the in Second Chronicle that it's in Second Chronicle 10:4, for the weapon of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to, to the pulling down of strongholds. For the weapon of our warfare are not corn, are not flesh and blood, but the divine power to destroy strongholds. God. This is a kind of mini, this is a kind of weapon that the secret service cannot handle. Glory be to God. This is a kind of danger that the military of the United States of America, Canada, Europe, Spain, Italy, wherever cannot handle, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks be to God. When Apostle says she stay where she is and, tr and praying for, for China or praying for Hong Kong, let me tell you something. If you even got, if the America even going to send a nuclear weapon, a nuclear whip arm, that guided missile thing to destroy somebody, they got to be at some part close enough. Is anybody hearing me? They have to be somewhere close enough for the weapon or the missile to reach its destination. Yes. But yet this divine power that we're talking about, you can stay at the end of the earth and pray to the end of the earth and pull down stronghold. Amen, 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 amen. 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 Your missile is being guided by the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Yeah. 
Hallelujah. Your missile is being guided by the Holy Spirit. Lord, amen. People can laugh and do whatever they do, but my missile is guided by the Holy Spirit. Amen. For the weapon, for the power, weapon of our warfare are not carnal. Hello, hello. It is not carnal. But it's mighty through God. Hello, man. Yes, Lord. It is mighty through God up to, up to the pulling down of the stronghold. Amen. Amen. For the weapon of our warfare are not of flesh and blood. Praise be to God. But of divine power. To di but, uh, but having divine power to destroy. Okay, stronghold, ladies and gentlemen. Amen. If you ain't underneath the Holy Spirit anointing, you cannot pull down stronghold. Can't do it. Cannot. I'll tell you this right now. Can't do it. I'll tell you this right now. Oh God. Some of you might as well, the apostle, don't even ask you to pray for her. Because it will just cause more confusion. You have to be underneath the anointing. And it's not your anointing. It's the almighty God anointing. Hallelujah. It's divine. You can't jump and jump and think your jump going to hurt anybody. No. Your jump could hurt somebody because you can step on your sister's foot or your brother's foot. But you cannot pull down stronghold with that. I didn't come to break up your house. I came to strengthen it. Is anybody hearing me? Mr. Ovid, I didn't come to break up your, your, your ministry house. I came to strengthen it. God gave the word. Minister Patrice, I didn't come to break up your ministry house. I came to strengthen it. Apostle, I did not come to break up your ministry house. God sent a message to strengthen the house, man. Hallelujah. 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 No. While I was on the street, I noticed something. Thanks be to God. I noticed something on somebody's jacket. And these are the words it's written on their jacket. Totally lost. This message that was on, that I seen on somebody's jacket, it said totally lost. Remember, this message is written from Young and Dundas Square. Yes, yes. Young and Dundas Square. And somebody's jacket totally lost. Now I'm sure there is a meaning behind that to them. But we as believers, we can make better sense of it. Uh, yes, we can. Yeah. We as believers can make much better sense of it. Listen to me carefully. Jesus said, I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Yes. Let's jump into Luke 5, 31 to 32. And this is where Jesus made this statement. Jesus said, answered and said to them, those who are well have no need or use of physician. Amen. But those who are sick, those who are sick. Is anybody hearing me? Jesus said it himself. He said, he said, I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Amen. Jesus answered and said unto them, those who are well have no need of a physician. No need. But those who are sick. <laughs> Today there are wars. I hope maybe some of you will agree with me in this. There's a background noise if you can manage that for me wherever you are. Okay. Today there is war and many things. In our society, war and crime. You can agree with me on that, yes? yes. There are war and countries. You can agree with me on that, yeah? Yes. There are wars and government. You can yes. agree with me on that. Yes. There are war and taxpayers. You can agree with me on that. Yes. There are war and inflation. You can agree with me on that. Yes. There yes. are war and drugs. You can agree yes. with me on that. Yes. There are war and homeowners. You can agree with me on that. 
There are war and tenants. You can agree with me in that. There are war and family. You can agree with me in that. There are war and marriages. You can agree with me in that. Is anybody hearing me? Let me tell you one thing, ladies and gentlemen. Quietly, I'm going to tell you this. Not one of these topics that I brought up is what the military is fighting about. Mm. Nope. Most of the fighting is superpower. Yeah. Yeah. But these, these war has to be dealt with and sometimes it's a stronghold war. Did anybody hear me? Yeah. These many of these are stronghold war. The, the military is not packing up and going to another part of the world to go fight people for for marriage problem, do they? Yeah. Mm -mm. No, no. Mm -mm. You don't hear that the 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 there's a war where they out fighting for the drug cartel, is it? Uh, yeah. mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. Different war. <laughs> Different war. But these quiet war are destroying our community. Oh Lord, help us. Yes. Is anybody hearing me? Yes. Amen. These quiet wars are destroying our community. Minister Errol, I was not enlisted. There are areas here to enlist. Yes, Lord, help us. Minister Errol, I had no time. I'm too old to enlist in the military. What about God's army? What about God's army? To those who declare war has a game plan. Would you agree with me in that? Amen, amen. amen. To those who declare war, it has a game plan. Must, amen. And one of those game plan is to win. Amen. Nobody declare war. The United States of America do not declare war on any nation, and the other nation do not declare war on that nation without with the intention to win. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And to those who the war are de de declared on, they too would like to win. Amen. So there's a serious conflict because to the war declarer and those who are declared on, they want to win. Yes. Yeah. I must tell you one of the greatest war, ladies and gentlemen, there's a war between heaven and hell. Yes. Yeah. One of the greatest war that there is, there's a war between heaven and hell. Does anybody hear me? Amen. Amen. Yes. There's no military army out there fighting the war between heaven and hell. Is anybody hearing me? There's a war between good and evil. evil yes. Amen. Is anybody hearing me? Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, this message is written on the street at Young and Dundas Square. Young and Dundas Square. When I finished, the Holy Spirit hit me and I was up and down all over the place. You saw the pictures. This is not a game. And watch this now. This was not a make-up because apostle said, I know you're preaching on the streets. So if you're preaching on the street, you can preach it in, 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 in Bethany. This was not planned. It was not planned. But your message came as the apostle request from the street. Oh, this is way too... Mm. The great, one of the greatest wars that are being fought... Our war between hell, heaven and hell. That's right. Yes. And there's no military support. There is no military support. No. No. There is a thing called the United Nation. And the United Nation is when a country declare war on another country, they both form a unity before, by the way, to come together to defend that community. That's what the purpose of the United Nation, to, to fight against other allies that are whatever. Uh, listen, I'm not trying to teach you medical, um, um, military conversation, but I'm letting you know what happened on the other side of town. So when a war busts out against another country and it's an innocent war, others step in because it's a part of the United Nation. That's right. 
This war between hell and heaven, there is absolutely no involvement of the United Nations. That's right. You are on your own to fight that battle. Yeah. Oh God. At the end of the day, the question is at the end of the day, the question really is hallelujah. hallelujah. If you were to be taken prisoner, who will they know you're, you're representing? That's right. Somebody listen to me. If you were to be taken prisoner, and I'm talking about the spiritual gospel prisoner. If you were to be taken holy, God, this prison, this thing that we walk up and down and have two of them on our bed and three of them at the bed foot and four of them in a dinner table, this thing called the Holy Bible. If you were to be taken prisoner, who will they know you are representing? Will they know? Mm -hmm. Will they know? The question is, will they know? Akasata shata. Just in case you didn't hear it, Minister Patrice, repeat the question for me any which way you want to. Minister Patrice, go ahead and repeat it any which way you want to. Well, let's see how this worked out. Moses in Exodus 32 26. Moses then stood at the gate of the camp. Moses then stood at the gate of the camp and said, Whomsoever is, a, is for God, come to me. I heard this in the message today when they, God said to Moses, "Go." By the way, do you see how this thing is connecting? I heard it in the message today. Minister, o, Mr. Minister Ovid read it. He summarized it. Yes. <laughs> and it's in my message that Moses stood at the gate and said, to the people with the tablet in the tablet ten commandment in his hand and said who is on god's side come to me watch this and all the sons of levi's gather themselves together to him and all the sons of levi's gather themselves together and went to him so as you can notice here not all went to Moses. This is a very tight message. This is a very tight message. As you can see, Moses gave a request. Moses said in a very simple way, for those who is on the Lord's side, come to me. Only those on his side. Hallelujah. And this on the sons of Levi's gathered themselves together and went to Moses. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Everybody know whose side they were on. Glory be to God. Yeah. But as you notice, not all went to Moses. One tribe, church. One tribe. My question to you today, where do you really stand Hallelujah. in this question? My question to you today, where do you really stand in this question? Do you really know which side you're on? Do you really know which side you're on? Or did you miss the call? Do you really know, ladies and gentlemen, week after week, month after month, year after year, 
the apostle delivered the same message. Praise be to God. Do you know which side you're on? I put it here that this message was written Jesus. at Young and Dundas Square. Where there's a flow of people. There's a flow of people all over the place. And the Holy Spirit took me and I all up and down the place there. Hallelujah. The next question I would like to ask you. Are you the caller? Are you the caller? Are you the one being called? Take my word. It would be greater if you are the caller. Do you understand when I say to you that it determines where you are when you get with that, determine where, where you are when it comes to attack? If you are a caller, there will be more attacks. Yeah. If you are a caller, there will be more attacks. The question, ladies and gentlemen, is really a child to show hope. Shubuaka. She can be a two. Shoo. Shabara. Shuka mushima hatu hoba. Shubu sikia. Shumuni biti hiteba. Shumuma mumishi. Show you dear my tea hatea ho. Subi saba. Chukuluba, kibi kibito, chumu shama ha, chukuba buki ake, kuwa te ikodobo kate, kali kato kachema kato, shuriu 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 shuriu, shuriu shuriu shuriu, pa ha pa ha pa ha, pa ha pa ha pa ha. Pa 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 pa. Peter Rashima Abla Kabahama Hate. Kusha. Kushaba. Kusha. Hello, Jehovah Rasta. I want to remind some of you that the calling is not for long. I want to remind some of you that the calling, who even listening internationally, internationally, the calling is not for long. I don't know how many times Moses made the call, but Moses said, those who on the Lord's side come this way. It would be greater also, ladies and gentlemen. I want you to pretend each and every one of you that every person passed you 
There's a sign on his back said totally lost. Is anybody hearing me? Hallelujah. I want you to remember, pretend that everybody passed you as of this day. There's a sign on his back said totally lost. Totally lost. You see, if this message wasn't written from the street, I wouldn't see that sign on somebody's back. It said totally lost. Our war is different, ladies and gentlemen. We are not fighting against flesh and blood. But we're fighting against principalities. We're not fighting about what we're not fighting about what the government can see. We're fighting about what its only spiritual eyes can see. We're not fighting about what government will let they know how to put, put a party in place to defend that. Our what we're fighting, there's no military weapons can deal with that. No. There's a war. A war is on. Holy God. A war is on. You can't sleep the same way you've been sleeping for years. Cannot. You cannot sleep the same way you've been sleeping. Cannot. You cannot eat. You cannot eat the same way you've been eating. You can't go the same place. <laughs> oh, yes, indeed. Oh, yes. There are times you gotta gird your line. You gotta go up in the temple like um, Mary, is that her name? Mary Am, what's her name? Who goes to the temple and Eli saw her, her lip moving. Anna, you gotta go up in the air like Hannah. Heck, is that, oh, come on, I need some help right here. Hey, 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 hey. Konomushama. Hannah went just because, just because another woman was mocking her. But let me tell you something. The devil is mocking your God. Yes, he is. The devil is mocking your God. Is anybody hear me? Yes, he is. The devil is mocking your God. Right where you stand, the devil is mocking your God. Right where you sit, the devil is mocking your God. Right where you walk, the devil is mocking your God. Yes, he is. And, the, and God did not have a representative there to intervene. Holy Ghost, somebody. Ish. Ish. The devil is mocking your God, and God did not have a representative there to intervene. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Which side are you on? Hallelujah. If you were to be taken prisoner, who would they know you represent? Hmm. This is the message from God, not mine. Hallelujah. From the street, not mine. Apostle, back Hallelujah. to you. Back to you, Apostle, please. We say thank you, Minister Trench. Hallelujah, church. Hallelujah. You got to give the man of God a clap hand. Amen. 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 Amen.